Hey everyone, and welcome to an edition of our exclusive Essence Spotlight series of guides, where we're taking an in-depth look at some of the strongest essences recently introduced to the game in patch 8.2. We'll be explaining how these essences work and what impact they'll have on PvP, as well as taking a look at how you can unlock each rank yourself, before letting you know which classes the essence is good for. In today's guide, we'll be covering the Vision of Perfection Essence, so let's get right into it. So first of all, what is Vision of Perfection? If you choose to use it as your major essence, you'll be granted its major power, which at rank 3, gives your spells and abilities a chance to activate a unique ability for your spec for 35% of its original duration. It will also grant some haste to you and nearby allies when it procs, but that's not the major talking point here. So how does it work? Well, each spec has a specific ability that the major power of Vision of Perfection will proc, which means that depending on your spec, the major essence proc will vary in duration. This means if you're, say, a Rep Heldin, you'll get Avenging Wrath for around 7 seconds, whereas a Havoc Demon Hunter will get Metamorphosis for around 10 seconds. This of course naturally means that the major power from Vision of Perfection is much better for some specs than for others. On top of that, each spec has a different proc rate for the major power. These two points collectively mean that Vision of Perfection's major power will be much better for some specs over others. Right, with all that being said, what actually makes Vision of Perfection's major power good? Well, as we already mentioned, it's really only going to be good for a handful of specs. But, for the specs it is good for, it's really good. Let's take the two specs which we expect this essence to perform on the best, Havoc Demon Hunters and Balanced Druids. See, both of these specs already have a very long duration on the offensive that procs, with Metamorphosis and Incarnation both lasting 30 seconds. On top of that, both specs also have an additional way to proc their respective offensive cooldown for a short duration. Havoc Demon Hunters are able to get meta up with I-Beam when they're expecting to Demonic, which they usually are, and Balanced Druids can get Incarnation up after using 9 Star Surges thanks to the Arcanic Pulsar as a right trait. For these two specs that already have multiple ways to get their offensive cooldown up, Vision of Perfection's major essence simply means that they get even more uptime on their cooldown. Also, specs that have a very high proc rate on Vision of Perfection's major power may also favour this essence as their choice for their major slot. So, being able to get your offensive cooldown up more often sounds quite OP for PvP, doesn't it? Well, it definitely sounds a lot stronger than it actually is, and is mostly going to be quite simple to deal with. In practice, you're already going to be trying to handle enemy offensives when they're up, so if vision procs while an offensive is already up, it just means you'll need to extend how long you play defensive for, if you need to. And if you're dealing with a vision proc at a random point throughout the game, there's a good chance that it can proc when you're not really under too much pressure, and so in the grand scheme of things, it won't really change too much. We mostly expect this essence to just provide a much needed overall damage increase for the specs that choose to use it, given that Arena tends to be quite slow paced at the moment. There are however some standout specs where we expect Vision of Perfection's major power to make quite a big impact to their pressure. We already mentioned Demon Hunters and Balanced Druids as great candidates for using it, allowing them to maintain quite a high uptime on Metamorphosis and Incarnation. However, we've noticed that Destruction Warlocks actually benefit a ton from Vision of Perfection's major power. It procs their Infernal, which is already one of the scariest cooldowns in the game. On top of that, the proc rate for Destruction Warlocks is quite high. It's for this reason that we expect Destruction Warlocks to be dealing quite a lot of damage in arena games when using Vision of Perfection as their major essence. Okay, with all of that being said, should you consider using Vision of Perfection in your major essence slot? Well. There are a few things to consider, some of which we've already mentioned. Does Vision proc a strong offensive for your spec? Does your spec already have multiple ways to gain your offensive cooldown? Does Vision have a high proc rate for your spec? And does procing the cooldown give you any additional benefits? Examples of this would be Avenging Wrath increasing your mastery and giving you a free crit, Bladestorm breaking roots and giving you speed, or Vendetta giving you energy and applying a dot. If you find that Vision is checking all of these boxes for you, and is actually providing a ton of value, then it may be the major essence for you. We recommend that Destruction Warlocks, Balanced Druids, and Havoc Demon Hunters should all use Vision of Perfection as their major essence most of the time. We then suggest Armed Warriors, Red Paladins, and Assassination Rogues considering it for some matchups. 
Other specs may want to experiment with it, but as things stand, we don't expect it to stand out from many other specs. Next, we're going to cover Vision of Perfection's minor power. This reduces the cooldown of the same offensive that procs from the major power by a different percentage based on the spec. It also slightly increases versatility and heals you for 5% whenever you gain your offensive. Okay, so how does it work? Well, if you didn't already know, whichever essence you use in your major slot will also grant you its minor power. You also have access to an additional minor only slot at neck levels 55 and 65, allowing you to benefit from just the minor effect of two additional essences. Just like the major power, both the cooldown that's reduced and the amount it's reduced by varies from spec to spec. So, why should you consider taking Vision of Perfection as your minor essence? Again, this is going to come down to your spec, with Vision's effectiveness varying from spec to spec. The most value you can get out of Vision's minor power is if you're reducing the cooldown of a big 2 minute offensive. This will allow you to desync the cooldown of your offensive with an enemy healer's trinket. For example, if you're playing a Red Paladin or Assassination Rogue with the Vision as your minor, you give yourself an opportunity to force a Trinket with Avenging Wrath or Vendetta, respectively, and then use your offensive again before the Healer's Trinket comes off cooldown. Outside of this scenario, simply being able to use a strong offensive more often throughout an arena game will increase your overall damage and give you more opportunities to create kill windows. So what impact will this have on PvP? Well, we mostly expect Vision's Minor Essence to be a great tool for setting up kills while a healer's trinket is still on cooldown for some classes. Beyond that, we don't expect it to be making as much of an impact in PvP as some of the other available Minor Essences, especially as it will only be useful for a small number of specs. Lastly, let's discuss which specs may want to consider using Vision of Perfection as a Minor Essence. As we already mentioned, it mostly stands out as a great pick for classes with strong offensives that get a reduction on a cooldown that can help them set up kills more often. The standout specs for this are Red Paladins and Assassination Rogues. Fire Mages, Windwalker Monks and a few other specs may also see some value here, but they're more likely to use other minor essences in the early stages of the season while we have access to just one minor essence due to our neck level. Now that you have a great understanding of why you may want to consider using Vision as either a major or minor essence, it's time to look at how you can unlock each rank. Starting with rank 1, you can loot the engine of Mecha Perfection after killing the last boss of Operation Mechagon, King Mechagon. This is a fairly simple fight and the entire dungeon is easily doable at around 400 item level. Getting rank 2 simply requires you to re-kill King Mechagon to get the blueprint Perfectly Timed Differential. You'll need to actually gain access to Pascal K1N6 by unlocking access to Mechagon and doing a few quests. So, if you are summoned into Operation Mechagon to get rank 1 without doing the initial quest chain, you'll still need to go back and do so. Rank 3 should need you to again kill King Mechagon an additional 4 times to get your hands on 4 progression sprockets, which can be combined to get the Perfection Enhancing Gearbox. Finally, if you're after the cosmetic effect from rank 4, you'll need to complete the Hertz Locker achievement. Okay everyone, that's it for the Vision of Perfection edition of our Essence Spotlight series. Please let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this guide. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.